Guys, if you're still teaching children how to use number lines with pieces of paper and worksheets like this, then it's definitely time to stop. These are so boring, they totally kill the whole thing with number lines, and there is a much, much better way. In this video, I'm gonna look at all my favorite practical number line activities. These will get children out and about, looking for things, using exciting resources, using all the senses and all that kind of stuff, and just bringing the whole using number lines thing to life. So throw away those worksheets and let's get into this. First game to make number lines really practical and exciting are these curtain hook DIY number lines. All you need for this is some kind of plank or piece of random wood like this and some of these curtain hooks as well. What you do, get some super glue and you just super glue them onto the piece of wood. This one has got 10 on, so it's a 10 number line, but you can make them much longer than this as well. The idea of this is a curtain hook is fantastic for putting things into. You can go outside, find stones and leaves and things like that and put it into the curtain hooks. And also you can experiment with different numbers as well. Let me show you some of these gorgeous number stones I've got as well. These go really well with the, uh, the number line with the curtain hooks. I've just got these pebbles, uh, just simple pebbles and I've painted them different colors. Some are white and some are yellow, but you know, whatever. And I've painted some numbers on as well. I've got the numbers here from zero to 10, but you could use different numbers as well. And these go fantastically with the number line, let's take a look. One simple way of using this kind of number line is just quite simply put the numbers in order. So here I'm just gonna put the stones in the right order. The children could look at something like a, a number line somewhere and match the numbers. You could even potentially write the numbers into these if you wanted with a pen or something, or uh, paint them on potentially. But I like to leave them blank so you can do different things. Matching numeral to quantity games are good on number lines like this. For example here, I've just got these little leaves, this kind of thing, and you can do things like matching say the number two to two leaves. Here we go. Or it could be uh, number three to three leaves, all that kind of stuff. So yeah, just get the children to go out, get some stones, get some twigs, match it to a number line, great stuff. You can also explore quantities on a number line such as this. For example, here I'm gonna put one leaf in the first one. I'm gonna put two leaves in the second, three in the third. I just keep going like that all the way down the number line. It's great just of exploring different ways and different things you can do with a number line. There's loads more activities to come, but if you're liking these activities so far, then please do hit the like button underneath this video. That really helps me spread these ideas to a wider audience, and it's really, really appreciated. So if you don't mind, hit that like button. Thank you so much. Next is using clotheslines. Pretty much all you need for this is just a piece of string, and you put the string, piece of string between two fences or two shelves or something, and then you can put things onto the piece of string. That in its simplest form is how to do it. If you like DIY, however, there is an even more exciting way. You can make these little mini clotheslines. All these are is just a piece of wood with two holes drilled into the piece of wood. And then I got two pieces of dowel and super glued it into the holes basically. I used to have ones with broom handles as well, broom handles that are cut off and stuck in and they were unbreakable. You could literally drop them from a great height and nothing could happen. These are a bit more breakable, but you just whatever materials you can find, give it a whirl. Bit of super glue, stick them in, and then just a piece of string along the top. Uh, and these are beautiful, beautiful resource for all sorts of different things. Great for phonics, great for storytelling, but fantastic as number lines. To go with them, you can have lots of different things. You could peg numbers on. You can have little number flashcards and you just sort of peg them onto the lines. But even simpler, particularly for children who have sort of fine motor problems and can't put them on the, the lines, that easily is using these little bits of card like this. Little bits of card that are kind of bent over. And you just put them straight onto the washing line or onto the clothesline. Got numbers on these ones. It's a great way of building different number lines. Let's take a look. A simple way of using these clothes lines is quite simply just building different number lines. Like here, I've just got the numbers in order. And the children could use a number line if they weren't sure how to order numbers. But just a case of creating your own number line a bit like this. This can be also good for exploring things like missing numbers, such as this one. What's gone missing on this number line? Another way of using it is using things like this, this uh, little mini dress with different numbers on. Just get some random objects and put some numbers on them. I think these are Barbie's clothes and they're good just for pegging up on the line. So we've got one, some gorgeous kind of dungaree style trousers, two. I think this is a mini skirt, three, all that kind of stuff. You can also do the bigger version as well, something like this, big numbers hung up on the washing line. Or you could have any different kind of objects with numbers hung up on the line, all fantastic. 
Next is the racetrack game. This is a great way for children just to explore a number line, even if it's got no numbers on it, just to actually explore what it looks like and how it all kind of works, and just sort of starting that process off. What you need for this is some kind of DIY number line. Something really, really simple, like a piece of wood or a plank or something. I've just painted some lines on it. This one has got 10 sections again, but it could be much, much longer. You could also do something like chalk this on the ground. That would be perfect. Just a simple chalked rectangle with some lines on, like a bit like a hopscotch kind of thing. Fantastic. To play this game, you also need some kind of dice. I've got a wooden one that I made myself out of a, a kind of wooden block with some numbers on, but any kind of dice would be great. And just some kind of counters for the children. I've got these ones that are just pebbles painted in different colors, but you could use whatever. It could be plastic counters, use different leaves or stones or any of that kind of stuff. All good. Right, let's take a look at how the game works. Right, pretty simple idea behind this game. The children just line up the counters one end of the number line and they pick who's who. So one child will be red, one child will be yellow and all that kind of stuff. This is obviously a three player game, but you could have more children potentially. One child rolls the dice first. Let's go for the red person, for example. They roll the dice, get one, and they just go forward one on the number line. So they go one. Next person, yellow person, goes one, two, three. Next person goes three as well. One, two, three. Then it's the red person's turn again. They go three, one, two, three. And you keep going like that. And the idea is just a simple counting along a number line kind of game. Go for number recognition, go for one to one counting. And the winner is the person that gets right to the end of the number line first. Another fantastic way of teaching children all about number lines is using a counting stick or a number stick. I think it's basically the same thing, it's just called different things in different countries. Uh, a counting stick often looks like a long pole that is split into different coloured sections. And they're great for all sorts of maths activities across different ages. I think with the younger children, it's good to make your own. This is the counting stick or the number stick that I use. It's just basically a broom handle. And I've stuck 11 pieces of Velcro along the broom handle at sort of equal lengths. Uh, and it's good to have 11 pieces of Velcro on there because you're going to stick numbers on is the idea. And if you have 11 pieces on, you can stick the numbers on from 0 up to 10 and make a, a you know, fantastic number line. One of the beauties of using Velcro is you can stick the numbers on, but you can also take them off and you can move them around and you can play lots of different games with just a very, very simple resource like this. So simple, but will last a lifetime. To go along with the number stick, something like these, some kind of numbers laminated with a bit of Velcro on the back are great. Just a set, I've got zero to 10 and some kind of toy is good as well. Any kind of random toy. I've got this Pegasus, for example. But anything the children might be interested in would be great. Like if they love T-Rexes, for example, you could use the toy T-Rex or an alien or whatever they, you've got. Fantastic. The way to get started with a number stick with the very young children is just to put the numbers on. Even one to three is a good way to start. And one game I like to do is with the toy you've got, like the Pegasus, for example, the Pegasus is just going to land on a number and the children say what it is. A bit like one, two, three, Two, that kind of stuff really is as simple as that. Let's put a few more numbers on. Jesus Pegasus again. The Pegasus really is to get their attention, get them looking at you and interested. And just the same kind of game again. I've got one to five this time, and the children are going to follow the Pegasus and say the number that it lands on. One, two, three, two, one, two, three, four, and all that kind of thing. Great for number recognition and great just for introducing what a number line looks like. Another great number line game on the number stick is the boomerang game. What you need for this is some kind of boomerang, like this. What you do, you swap the boomerang for one of the numbers. So for example, number four, I'm gonna take that off. And I'm gonna put the boomerang there instead. Uh, and now the idea of this one is you start at zero and you count up to the boomerang. When you get to the boomerang, you bounce off it. It's like a, you know, the way the, a boomerang, you throw it and it always comes back. It's that kind of thing. You go up to it and then you, always, you go back from it as well. So when you get to the boomerang, you say nothing at all. So it goes a bit like this. Zero, one, two, three, three, two, one. Zero, there we go. So it's just a, a simple counting forwards and backwards game and experiencing what counting and forwards on a number line, what it looks like. I've just shown you a couple of very, very simple counting stick activities there, but that is just a starting point. You can always go much, much harder. For example, you could put more numbers on and go all the way to 10. You could even start at a number not zero. You could start, this could be seven, for example. And you put the numbers on up to 17. You can also take the numbers off. This is much, much trickier. I would only do this when the children have a number line in their heads already. They can kind of visualize what it looks like. Let's have a go with this being zero. Zero, one, two, one, zero, one, 
two, three, four, three, two, and all that kind of stuff. And then you just go straight up the counting stick, going one, two, three, four, because lots of children are programmed to count like that. They're really good at that, so they can go one, two, three, four, and count for ages. But if you mix it up a bit, it gets them thinking, and that is what you want. The activity ideas in this video are only a tiny, tiny fraction of the many, many ideas we have in our online training courses. You can check out our online courses at earlyimpactlearning.com forward slash online hyphen courses. Go to that page, we've got seven currently online courses up and running. They're all in the key areas of early childhood education, things like early phonics, literacy, learning how to write, all this kind of stuff. Outdoors, mindfulness, loose parts, all the crucial areas of early learning. The courses are all packed full of ideas, activities, provocations. There's at least a hundred original ideas in every single one and fantastic strategies for how to get the best out of teaching young children. If you found this video useful, then another one you'll definitely enjoy is a video I did recently all about number recognition. In this, I'll show you my favorite strategies for getting children recognizing numbers and making it all fun and bringing it to life. That video is gonna be popping up on the screen about here. So click on that and check that one out. As always, it's been an absolute pleasure to see you. Thank you for watching my channel and I'll see you next time.